how to schedule your MMA training. This is a very important factor in order to not burn out within your sessions. This video is for people that wanna be doing it full time, not for people that wanna do it twice or three times a week. Let's get on the way. I'm currently in Thailand and it is very sunny. I've just come back from the beach. And I'm very, very happy to be here. Start training in two days, which is gonna be good, down at Bang Tao MMA. And I've used this same sort of structure to help with my schedule whilst I am here. So first off, wrestling and sparring. They're the two most important factors or disciplines of your timetable. That means everything else goes around them. It doesn't mean do SNC instead of your sparring or do SNC instead of your wrestling. It means those two sessions are non-negotiables. And I mean, have to be done. Have to be done. If you want to get better as a fighter, these have to be done. Next point. You're going to do two to three red days max. This is going to make more sense in a moment. But no more than that. If you're doing more than three red days, you're going to burn out completely and you're not going to be able to keep this up for the long run. Now, timetables will differ depending if you're in camp or not in camp. We're just going to go through a generalised one. In camp, the red days are going to be harder red days. In out of camp, we might just do one session of a red day in that particular day. Now... First off, sparring. What day are we going to put sparring? I'm going to use an example. We're going to go in the morning. We're going to put it Tuesday. I would not then put wrestling on Wednesday because if I put it here, it's going to make more sense in a minute. That's two red days. Because sparring is a red day. I'm OCD and got to make this a capital letter. I'm wrestling is a red day. So it's going to be very hard to recover and maximise those sessions. That's why we're going to put wrestling on to a Friday. If I can drag it. Why is it not letting me drag it? Fucking piece of shit. Just copy it. Cut. Paste. There we are. We got there finally. But they're the two red days. That means everything goes around that. In camp, the PM session will be a red session as well. When you're not in camp, it's not as important. But I'm going to put through the Tuesday and Fridays as fully red days. So Tuesday, what we're going to do on that, we're going to do our SNC. And by that, I mean make sure your sprints are on this day. On the Friday, we are going to do intense pads so they're going to be fight style pads or up downs as you like to call it depends what you want to do but if, if you fight three five minute rounds you're going to do three times five minutes sparring it's going to be normal sparring you're going to do fight specific rounds if you're doing three rounds i recommend doing three if you do five minute rounds make sure the time's on five minutes and you're not doing three two minute rounds so do three five minute rounds if you are fighting three five minute rounds your s and c you're going to do your weights bit, and then you're going to put your conditioning on the end. On the Friday, you're going to do your normal wrestling session, and then the PM session is 15 minutes only. If you're an amateur, it's going to be 9 minutes only. You are not doing longer than that. I want it high intense, maximum with your heart rate, but we're not going to be there very long. 3 5 minutes if you're a professional. If you're doing 5 fives, you're going to do 5 fives on that day. So these are red sessions as well. When you're not in camp, you might avoid these, the SNC and the pads. You might do SNC without the sprints and you might do technical pads. But we're going to do it as if you've got a fight. They're my red days. I've got to structure everything around that. After a red day, you can guess, you're going to be tired. I'm going to be tired. Everyone is tired. Because of that, we're going to put the next day as green. So Wednesday is going to be green. Saturday is going to be green. And then if those ones are green, it means the other ones are going to be orange. We're going to take Sunday as our day of rest for this. I don't always rest Sunday. I might switch it and put Saturday as my rest day and do another red session on Sunday because that's my free max 
some weeks I might do two, some weeks I might do three. I will never spar twice heavy in the week though, for me personally. I do not want to be doing that. So that is an orange day. And that is an orange day. Now, we need to fit the rest of our sessions within this. On a red day, do not do three sessions. Don't do it. Other days you can do. But just because you're doing three sessions, it doesn't mean kill yourself off. One session could be a yoga. It doesn't have to be hard. Let's start from the beginning. An amber day. I don't like grappling the day before sparring because it knackers my muscles out. So I'm going to put that as a striking. All these are going to be MMA based. So MMA striking. Yes, I might put takedowns in as well but it's not going to be the main focus of that session Wednesday I'm going to do MMA groundwork so Jiu Jitsu Thursday an orange one for that I'm going to do more transitions I'm going to link more of the disciplines together striking to wrestling to Jiu Jitsu so I'm just going to put that as an MMA session and then on Saturday, it can depend on what you did within the week. If there's certain things you got to work on, let's put that as an MMA one as well. You can even make that an MMA flow, but that one, I look at more what's gone well in the week, what do I need to work on? That's what I'm going to do on the Saturday. To be honest, I don't really train twice on a Saturday, so I'll get rid of that. We'll put it like that. Now the PM sessions, more technical. But I'm sparring in the morning, so I don't want to go too hard on this Monday. So if I'm totally honest, I stay away from heavy rounds. Don't try and do heavy rounds the night before you're going to spar. So some sort of technical aspects. It's an orange day, but it doesn't mean the afternoon session have to, has to be as hard. Technical, you could do striking... Don't know why I did that. You can do strike. Striking. I'm trying to press that button. Oh, that one is. Or grappling. Totally up to you. Depending on what you like to do. Now, you can do the same on Thursday as well because wrestling is a heavy day. So whatever you did on Monday, do the opposite on the Thursday. Like so. Now, on the Wednesday, that is the gap we have left. It depends. What do you need to work on? Is it certain get-ups? Is it certain defences? Is it certain attacks? All I'm going to put in here is drill. But I'm going to put techers. I'm not here to drill hard. Because that drilling hard could be in an orange or a red day. So I'm going to be there to drill technique. Now, where do you fit your conditioning into this? I would not do extra conditioning or sessions within my red days. The only thing I'd do extra on a red day is stretch. So I'm going to put here, no. No extras. Only stretch because they're hard for a reason so we don't want to take away effort from the sparring if you know you've got three sessions on a red day you're probably not going to go as hard in sparring so that is the same for the Friday session now you can put your running on any other sessions I personally sometimes put the strength side of my SNC on the Saturday. And I do that as a double session. So I don't do it in the PM because I want a free space. I don't need to do sprints. I did sprints on the Tuesday and I've done fight specific training, similar how I'll be doing the sprints, but with pads or up downs. Long steady jog, if you want to do one, I recommend 
most likely doing it on uh, Wednesday. Long steady one, and I mean steady. And you've got two others, if you want to fill them, you can, it is totally up to you. But that is how I will schedule a timetable. First off, you find your red days. Second off, you put your green and your orange days in, you then fill the blanks. You've got your sparring day filled in, you've got your wrestling day filled, filled in. Fill the rest of the blanks. Yours will, might look slightly different to this. You might like doing more MMA here and striking towards the back, back end of the week. Totally up to you. This is just an example of how you can particularly do it. Mine differs. Sometimes I don't train Saturday and I'll train Sunday, but I'll wrestle again on Sunday. So that's quite hard. Sometimes I'll have a Wednesday or Thursday afternoon off, depending on how my body's feeling. So all of this is listening to your body. Not being a pussy, just because you're a little bit tired. It's listening to how your body actually is. You'll know after you start training a long time when it's time to have a rest and when you are putting too much effort in when you shouldn't be because you're just going to dig yourself a big hole. And as Michael Bispin says, it takes confidence to have a day of rest and it definitely did for me and my ego. But that is how I structure my timetables. Main points, wrestling, sparring, two most important days, two or three red days max, nothing else. And then from there, you can put your other training in. I hope this one was helpful. If it was, please give this a like and a subscribe. These videos do take a while to do, and I'm on a daily mission to get one video a day out for you for the rest of the year, I've decided. So 365 videos that started on the second, so some way within the year, he's getting two videos out for one of the days, and we're gonna try and beat that 365 count mark. And I think that'll be a good ball game to show how much I have put into this. Any videos as well, give me a message with a request and I'll happily do them. And it'll give me some ideas as well. But that is me. I'm now going to go to get some scran. And we're going down to Patong in Thailand. Go network with a few people we know. And chill on the Saturday night. Bish, bash, bosh, pow.